Kogan grass, also called Japanese bloodgrass, red barren, or spear grass, is an invasive, non-native grass that is considered to be one of the top 10 worst weeds in the world. Kogan grass came to the United States in 1912. It was used as packing material for Satsuma oranges through Mobile Bay. In the 1920s, Kogan grass was used as a potential forage crop, but was found to be useless due to the high silica content in the leaves. By 1979, this weed was documented in 19 counties in the southern part of Mississippi, and today it's documented in 50 counties across the state. Kogan grass spreads by both seed and numerous underground stems called rhizomes. Up to 3,000 seeds can be produced per plant. Since the seeds are light, wind can blow them up to 15 miles. These seeds can also be spread on the fur of wildlife or human clothing and work equipment. Kogan grass can spread up to 43 square feet in 11 weeks from the time it germinates. One of the easiest ways to identify Kogan grass is the season. Only zoysia and Kogan grass grow in the summer, while other grasses grow in the winter or spring. Kogan grass leaves may seem to rise directly from the soil, but short stems are present. These leaves usually appear yellowish-green or may turn reddish in color in the fall. The whitish upper midrib of a mature Kogan grass leaf is not usually centered on the blade, and tiny saw-like serrations make the leaf margins rough to the touch. The white fluffy seed heads, or flowers, that appear in late spring or early summer are another Kogan grass identifier. Though this flowering can occur in other seasons as a result of herbicide application, fire, landscaping, or severe cold weather. These seed heads typically range from two to eight inches in length, and each seed has silky white hairs that allow them to catch the wind and spread. The final way to identify Kogan grass is the root system and rhizomes. Kogan grass rhizome systems are far more extensive than most other grasses. When you pull a new rhizome up, you'll likely notice a brown sheath around it. That's a scaly rhizome. If you peel back the scaly rhizome, you'll find a healthy white, fleshy rhizome capable of producing several new plants. Rhizomes usually remain in the top six to eight inches of soil and have sharp points. There is no single application treatment option for eradication of Kogan grass infestations. Roundup Ultra, Roundup Pro, or other brands of glyphosate with 41% active ingredient formulations at five quarts per acre will suppress Kogan grass. Applications will need to be applied repeatedly each year for several years to control an infestation. The Mazapir products such as Arsenal, Polaris, or Habitat can be used in certain areas. This method can provide excellent control for up to one year. Keep in mind that applications of Arsenal and Roundup may damage nearby vegetation. No matter which product you decide to use, remember, always follow the instructions on the label. Kogan grass does not thrive in land that is frequently tilled. Land that is tilled often may control Kogan grass infestations. The Mississippi Forestry Commission has several grant programs that offer free herbicide treatments for landowners with Kogan grass infestations on their property. To see what programs are available, see if you qualify and apply, visit mfc.ms.gov.